Countdown Zon! Countdown! Four, three, two, one! What's up, every peoples? Welcome to Monday, slash Sunday, slash whatever day you live in, or whatever part of the world you live in. Welcome along to what's going to be an intriguing little stream today. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, 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 welcome to everyone in the chat. Good to see you all for a Monday morning. I tell you what, we're all, yeah, I was a little bit late today uh, because there's no Be a Pro episode this morning, which is a shame. I'm sorry, I apologize, um, but for good reason. Uh, and I was making sure there's going to be one tomorrow <clears throat> because I don't know how long this stream is going to be today, which for reasons we'll talk about in a second. But I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've all got your uh, coffee on hand and are ready to rock for another a stream day. And everything is, is cooking with some nice gas. YouTube's telling me that, that everything is, is broken and, and not working. So let me just make sure that everything is actually working on that side of things. It's working fine, YouTube. What are you talking about? YouTube, YouTube just doesn't know what it's talking about. It needs help. It needs help. What's up, Fallon? Good to see you, brother. Hope you all had a good weekend. <sighs> Tell you what, <clears throat> this is the last weekend of international rugby for the Rugby World Cup, right? As we can see here. Next up, <clears throat> we go to September. It's all on. The audio wasn't working, Dump. What the hell? I just checked it and it was working. How so bizarre. That's weird. It says I got no um no bit rate, but then when I actually watch it, it's uh it works just fine. So whatever. I hope you can help uh can hear. Just fine. Yeah, don't know what's going on there. It seems to be working fine when I look at it. If, if it's not working, let me know, team, and we can um uh, we can sort that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we're gonna start with? I don't know how long I'm gonna be around today. Um. Miss has been sick over the weekend, so illness is, is running. Now she's excellent connection. What the hell, YouTube? What the hell, YouTube? Anyway, we're all good. We're all good. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how long she's going to last at work, so I might have to shoot off and go grab her. But, well, you know, I've, I've recorded a Be Pro episode this morning, so we're smoking on that, getting something out for you guys tomorrow. Um, and I thought, yeah, we'll stream until, until she decides she's had enough at work, which um, could be ages. It might not be long. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but I thought we'll talk about some some rugby. We'll talk about um, some more rugby, and uh, yeah. The, so week off this weekend, which is like boo. No one wants to see that. Um, but for I guess we got two weeks to talk about what happened this weekend, which was amazing. You guys are already smoking in the chat. What's up, Gregor? What's up, Dub? Fallon, seen you already. Um, yeah, what England? I mean, the talking points was this, wasn't it? The All Blacks versus South Africa. We know what the, they can do, these two teams. And we thought, well, this is what we're going to talk about for the next two weeks. Because that's probably a... Well, no, it's a surprise result. It's normally close. I fell, I seen some of it. Oh, they played pretty well. I, I did um, fell an off-topic. Uh, see them on Twitter. Uh, everyone paying out the All Blacks. Of oh, the All Blacks. The... Uh, the tall blacks for, for doing the harker and stuff, which I, I do agree. It is a bit cringe doing it for basketball and that. Um, but then they're like, ha ha, do the little dance and you lose by 20. And then it's like so many people copy pasted the last time we played the USA in rugby and it was a 104, 14. And it's like, well, you know, 20 points is, yeah, okay. That's a bit of a winning, uh, but 90 points. It's like, get out of my house. Piss off USA. And um, yeah, so that was quite funny. But yeah, they played pretty well. Uh, did you watch the whole game, Fallon? what do you think of it? I think there's going to be a... I don't know if they're going to win the Americans the whole tournament because they've gone very young and exciting. And it's good to see, like, my boy Tyrese Halliburton is there. But I don't know if they're going to win. You've got some experienced European high-level teams over there as well. So it'll be a good competition to keep an eye on, which I will be doing definitely. Uh, but it's surprising to see the old Tall Blacks out there watching all the games. Oh, good on you. Good on you. Wish I had that commitment. I'm, I'm still, I'm fearing having to watch all the games of the World, Rugby World Cup. I don't think I could throw in the basketball in there as well. Australia lost to Germany. I did not see that. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, Germany. 
I think there's a lot of good basketball teams out there. There is a lot of good basketball teams out there. I don't think the days, I mean, Canada uh, smoked France, which is probably quite a, an interesting result as well. So there's a lot of good teams out there, dude. There's a lot of good teams. You have to keep me up to date because I'm not watching it religiously. I'm just kind of seeing results and, and highlights as they pop up uh, on YouTube. So I'm just going with that. Although I did watch a little bit more of the, uh, the, the New Zealand USA game because home team versus team you watch all the time, all those players in the NBA. So that's all good. Dub just got around to watching England versus Wales match. Oh, England, oh England versus Wales? How long ago was that? <clears throat> that was a while ago. Well, is that this one here where England won by two points and half the team got sent off and it was all catastrophic? I think, I mean, there's, there's a lot to talk about here. Um, there's a lot to, to discuss. There's a lot to digest. There's a good word for you. But, um, must win game tonight versus Jordan, 8.45. I might try to tune into that. I might try to tune into 8, 8.45. Where can I write that down? Eight four, I'll write down on the whiteboard. 8.45. I'm going to try to watch that. I think, they can, I think they can win that game. That's winnable. That's winnable if they're on their own. Uh, on their own game, that's for sure they can win that one. See how they go. The red card one? Yeah, Dub, that was... Uh, what's on... Um, Oh, foul! I'll, I'll just I'll just go to the depths of the um, the streams. <laughs> I'll find something. I don't even know if my TV works. Um, I've never watched TV for years, years and years and years. It's crazy, crazy, crazy talk. We are. You can hardly see it, but oh, you can uh, you can't see it on here either. We are what? Oh, I can't read the timer. White on white. I've fixed that color. Eleven days away from the World Cup, right? Eleven days away. England's in dire straits, right? The three party of hell. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. The three party of hell. Jeez. I, I want some. I want some English people to come on here and tell me what went wrong versus Fiji. That's what I want to see. I want to see that. Wallabies got smoked this morning. I saw some of that. Um, you know what? I went to bed. I went to bed when Fiji and England was 8-3 at halftime. And I was like, ah, uh, oh, third party website of how. Yeah, yeah, fell in your right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just you just gotta gotta swim through all the ads. Um and then find your way through. Yeah, I went to bed when it was 8-3, and I was like, ah oh, yeah. I was like, Fiji doing well, they're keeping it tight, they're not really scoring many points, but yeah, they're keeping it close. Um yeah, I thought, yeah, it'll, it'll, just, it'll just wind out and dribble along to ultimately an England win, you know, 25-10 or something dumb like that. Um, but no, Fiji played so well, so well in that second half, scoring points. Defensively, they, they, they lapsed a little bit on the outsides. I mean, they, they were falling off a couple of tackles, but I think England, England were worse. England were really falling off big time. Oh, I think they're in disarray. Australia, like, say, Fallon is in disarray. Gregor, watch Fiji uh, box game. A bit of Scotland Island highlights. Uh, none of the France game. The France game was just this morning. Um, I see a little bit of it, but not too much. But France were pretty much, yeah, by, by that scoreline, uh, devastating. Australia's fucked after lose, lost to France this morning. <sighs> yeah, they, 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 yeah. Their, Australia's battle is getting out of the pool. Get out of the pool. Hope for the best. Beat Wales. I mean, how much did you... Do you guys see Warren Gatlin in the crowd at the England game? <laughs> the England Fiji game. <laughs> that made me laugh. That made me absolutely piss myself. He, just, he looked like he'd seen a ghost. He looked like he was about to just die. I don't know. He looked, he looked so like he was shitting himself. He looked like he was crapping himself. How... how, how Argentina, how'd they go? I didn't actually see the Argentina. Oh, they smoke Spain. That's that's a good win. 62-3. Oh, that's good. Uh, any injuries in this? If anyone uh, saw, uh, I saw Italy smoke Japan. I thought that was, I kind of expected that. Uh, I saw Scotland. Yeah, I thought Georgia might have put up a bit more of a fight here um, against Scotland, but 33-6. This game here, actually, there was the other one that surprised me. Ireland and Samoa. Samoa were leading that game. Ireland come back with two tries late. Uh, to steal the win. That surprised me. I didn't think Samoa were quite up to the task there, but that was 
That was an incredible performance by the Samoans. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. Fiji. Georgia, disappointing. Uh, Japan, disappointing. Samoa, overwhelming amazing. All Blacks, horrid. I mean, we talk about that as well. So that, that means nothing. Argentina, expected. Job done. And that was a little bit closer than I expected, which probably gives a little bit more props uh, to the Chilean side than I, I probably did. So good. That's good because Chile, they need that little bit of exposure, a little bit of experience, a little bit extra on their side. So that's good. That's good, good, good. Uh, what do you guys reckon? Let me know your thoughts about all these games that went on over the weekend. Uh, Italy looked good. Scotland looked really good. France looked good. Australia looked terrible. No Wales playing this weekend, which is a bit of a shame because, yeah, they got smoked, though. Smoked. Garbage. What the hell happened there? So, yeah, I don't know. This, the, this World Cup, pff, does, does it change anyone's perspective of who's going to win? Which games? I mean, getting to the other groups is going to be uh, it's going to be the, the goal for everyone. I think I don't think there's many teams. Maybe maybe those top four. Yeah, I'd say France and the All Blacks are still pretty happy. They'll they're looking they're focused on the finals um, already. Uh, I think geez, South Africa and Ireland are still looking over their shoulder at Scotland. I don't think they can look away. I was saying it's Pool A is really the only one that's really in control. Like I can't, I can't see Italy really troubling. Although as, as well as they're playing here, I, I don't think they're going to trouble France or the All Blacks. Regardless, Uruguay and Namibia are not going to uh, one two. It doesn't matter. No, they don't really care. Ultimately, they're going to get to the quarterfinals. The other pools, though, everyone's got something over their shoulder. England can't look past. Samar or, or Argentina, Japan. You know, the Wallabies can't look past Wales. They can't look past Fiji. They can't look past Georgia. I mean, jeez. Gregor, Gregor, my um, my Irishman. You're lucky versus Samar. I think so too. Samar might go through. I tell you what, I tell you what, this has been a great weekend for Pacific Island rugby. Not really for all the Pacific nations, if you count the All Blacks in there, and uh, Australia don't want to be included in that either. But this is a good game, uh, a good weekend for Fiji and Samoa. They Their stocks went... Whew. And how about those world rankings? Have you guys seen the world rankings yet? Oh, 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 oh dude. The week, the world rankings are... England's down to eighth. Australia is ninth. I'll see if I can find them. <laughs> Tonga, Fiji. Love it, love it, love it. They look very cool. Um, I don't know if they've updated them yet. Rugby World Cup rankings. Oh, they have updated them. Oh, no, that's the pools. I just saw New Zealand on the fourth. Here we go. No, they've not updated them yet. They're not updated yet. I thought they did it on Monday. What's the we start of? Favorite? Okay. Rolling GitHub has them. What? We see them on Twitter. Uh, they're, def they're definitely on there. Uh, I wonder if I can search this and it will come up. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Here we go. This is it. Well, this is good enough. Ben's Rugby. Whoever you are, thanks, sir. Let's just give us a little bit of an idea. Here you go. Ireland number one. South Africa's jumped up to two. France has leapfrogged as well. And it'll probably actually be more because they actually won as well. So they, I don't think you'll get two ranking points from a win. Uh, but they've just popped over. New Zealand's dropped down to fourth. Okay, Scotland though. Fifth, Argentina, Fiji. Oh, I tell you what, five, six, seven. Whoo, is exciting, man. Super, super exciting. England, Australia, Wales. Eight, nine, ten. Italy's down to 13th. Japan's 14th. Tonga. Portugal's up there. <laughs> Tonga 15, number one spot. What's the space? Oh, man. Like, if anything, this last weekend has just made the World Cup even closer, I reckon. It's incredible. It really is. It's just incredible. Argentina is sixth. 
How many people write them off because it's like, oh, it's Argentina. They are sixth. They are the top ranked team in this pool. Yet they are the third seeded side. Why do they do the pool so early? Why do they do the pool so early? You go on rankings. What's this going to go? Argentina, England, Japan. Where was Samoa in there? Oh, they're 12th. Oh, so look. Okay, so it's going to go clearly Argentina, England, Samoa, Japan. Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy stuff. England are in trouble, man. England are in so much trouble. Do you reckon? Do you guys reckon England are going to make it out of the pool? They got to beat Samoa. They got to beat Argentina. They got to beat Japan. That's what probably looks likely now. Japan's been pretty poor. <sighs> Far out, man. Far out. Reviewer says no. Not making it out of the pool. Are Wales and Australia going to top this one? I don't think so. I mean, Scotland disposed of Georgia, but I think Scotland would dispose of this whole pool at the moment. Fiji looking um, looking incredible. Like beating England at Twickenham. I mean, I know it's only one game, and those teams are capable. They have their game. They have their game. But, oh, man. Wales are in trouble. Australia is in trouble. Georgia would have wanted more out of that game versus Scotland, I think. They've not done themselves any favours here, but... <laughs> South Africa looked bloody good on the weekend. Can't argue with that. They looked incredible. The All Blacks looked uninterested, disinterested, and like they didn't want to play rugby. Which is fair enough. It's going to be a big tournament, but... <laughs> Springboks looked good. 7-1 split on the bench. That was crazy. And it worked. Portugal led Australia A at half time. Very interesting. Thanks. Good comment review. I like that. They did. 17 30 was a full time score. What was half time score? It should show me actually if I go to the match center. Will it show me? Doesn't show me a huge amount of information. Okay. <laughs> it says nil nil at half time. Great information. Thanks, World Rugby. You've excelled. You've outdone yourself here. Um. I never normally click those because they are so garbage. But there we go. Um, and that was a good Australia A team too because they had what probably more would have looked like the Australian team a year ago playing in it. So, oh man. Portugal. <laughs> God, far out. You reckon Portugal are going to give Wales a run for their money now? Oh, this World Cup, man. This World Cup is crazy. Absolutely insane. I have to keep it on my phone. Make sure the um I go play uh play pick the pick the missus up before when she needs it. It's being a bit under the weather this weekend. It's a bit a bit sad, but we'll keep hanging out until she's uh ready to come back home. So I better, better keep an eye on that. Hey, gotta gotta keep him happy. Gotta keep him happy. Oh man, I tell you what. 11, 11 days, man. Eleven days. It's gotta be insane. I, I'm shaking my head in, in shock of That's the only one that you're like, yeah, we're not going to see much of a surprise. From what I've seen of Uruguay and Namibia, yeah, they're getting better, but I don't. I think Italy's two. I think if, if that third spot was like Japan. Where's Japan? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? There they go. Oh, that's right. I'm looking too high for them. Then they would topple them, but I don't. I don't think Uruguay and Namibia will beat Italy up. I don't think France and New Zealand will lose to Italy down. So you're going to have a pretty cut and dry pool. I think that that's a typical World Cup pool. But these other three, man. I think that, that's probably your second cut and dry pool. I think Scotland could. Who goes though? Who do you guys reckon goes if Scotland actually show up? Scotland have to show up and beat someone. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> but like, they've got to beat South Africa or Ireland. That's hard, man. 
I want to see Scotland's draw. So South Africa first. Tonga, Romania, and then Ireland. <sighs> so if they go all out at the start. Two easies. And then a finish. How's the Rugby Challenge for four Korea going? Any updates on teams and transfers? What um what Korea is this? For our, our stream one or for old Sammy Boy? On the videos. Because we didn't have one today, Fallon. A video on, on the channel. For Max. Oh, Max. We're going we're gonna to be jamming into Max. Um, where are we up to with Max? I think we're mid-season, aren't we, with Max? We played it on Friday and I can't remember already. Um, no, mid-season. We're at... Um, my memory's gone. We're at Gloucester. We're at Gloucester with Max. That's right. We're having a, we're, <laughs> that's right, we're having a disaster season, weren't we? You just you brought back all the bad memories. But we'll be jamming that for a while. Um, until I get the instructions of, of travel. So we'll see how long we get. Scotland have a horrible record against those two? Yeah. It's, I mean, any other... If they were on pool C or D, it would be so, so different. And that's a, that's a weird thing, eh? Like, like they're third ranked or seeded. They could have gone in there for Fiji and they would top that pool. They'd go in there for Argentina and they would probably top that pool. Easy second, though. Oh, it's so, so unfortunate. So unfortunate. But they've got big game to start. Well, I mean, Tonga's a big game too, isn't it? Romania, they'll smoke. If anything, they've got the, the weakest uh, bottom seed side and then Scotland's, uh, Ireland to finish off. Oh, man. It's crazy. It's going to be crazy. I don't think I'm going to sleep for that whole time. I hope you guys are all going to be awake. You've got to come join me on the streams of the games because someone's got to keep me awake. Although the rugby should be good. I mean, that's going to be a late night. That's going to be a long... That's probably worth... Jeez. I mean, where do you where do you sleep here? Do you sleep through that game? Because that should be an easy win for Ireland. Or do you bail on that one? Get up at 4 a.m. Bloody hell. And watch these two. Because I think they could be a bit of eye-openers. That could be all right, too. Chile could put in a bit of a fight to Japan. And then you got that. South Africa, Scotland. Good game. Whoa! Wales, Fiji, man. Come on. Should be a smashing. France, Uruguay. Right? Again. Smashing. Wales, Portugal. Might be interesting. Ireland, Tonga. I think you've you got potential there. Oh, there's so many great games. Sunday, Australia, Fiji. Oh, so much good rugby to watch. I don't know how, I, I'm not going to sleep. I'm really not going to sleep. My coffee's cold. Oh, it's gone disaster. Yep, that's, that's, blah, blah, disgustingly cold. We'll jam some Max, eh? And see how long we can get, see how many matches we can get through. But, um, what a weekend of rugby. Also on, on Rugby 24 News, we ain't getting a game, guys. We ain't getting a game. Gamescom was last week. Um, we talked about it on Friday. Oh, Bear's come into the chat as well and had a, had a chat what he knows about it. Um, people have been to Gamescom. They went to, to Nacon or whoever it is that's publishing, developing it. And they, they said there's nothing to show. So there's no game coming out. There's no game coming out on the 7th of September. Um, best we can hope for is a delayed announcement. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. And I'll let you guys know whatever I find. But it, it doesn't look good. It really doesn't look good at all. Which is just crazy. I mean, you think the communication between us as as consumers and players of the game and, and developers is bad? It seems like the communication between like Big Ant and this NACO, NACON it's even worse when Big Ant go, oh, watch Gamescom. There, there, they'll have something. And then people go there and there's nothing there. That's even worse. That is even worse. So, very little yet news. Um, again, people just presuming what's going on. So, yeah, no idea. No clue. Um, sad. Really sad, man. Really sad. Really, really sad. Let's play some Max, though. 
get some games under our belt. Because uh, I don't know how many we're going to get today. So we'll see how we go. Uh, get some done, at least. Because, of course, it's Retro Rugby Wednesday. On Wednesday, we're going to be jamming some old games. Hopefully, Rugby 08 will work for us. That's the plan. Uh, let's see. So we're not, not playing old Sammy. We're going to go with Maxi. So we're only in round six of the Premiership. Only round six. But the way we've been going, we'll probably get injured. Uh, five games in. Here's our schedule. That's right. We just did the double against Montpellier, didn't we? Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. That was Friday. That was incredible. That was an incredible game. <laughs> and we smoked them there. 40 to 14. And then just about lost. Did the double draw and win against Saracens. But look at our form, though. Beat Bristol. Lost to Racing. Lost to Sale. We've started off with three L's. Jeez, we're not in a good way. We are not in a good way. But we're mid-table. Two wins, three losses. Oh, Nancon had a Robocop game at Gamescom, which was apparently delayed too. But did they actually have it? <laughs> and so that's the sad thing. There's nothing even there saying it's delayed. It's just like this is nothing. Nothing at all. Dub, it's, it's just incredible. I, I just... It puts, put a poster up. No, it's delayed. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I really, I don't understand. Oh, that's right. We're the goal kicker too, aren't we? We're almost a bloody captain. Right, kicking meters, handling errors, line breaks, penalties, drop goals. God, I can't keep up for that. We'll see how we go. We'll see how the volume goes. Yeah, I don't know, Dub. It's like... No one knows anything. Like, it's sad that the people who are actually making the game don't know anything. Like, um, Big Ant. They don't know anything. They're making the game. Let's go for a poster. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't hitting anything with that. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I'll let you guys know the inevitable news that I never hear. Surely it'll come out sooner or later. It'll be like, Rugby 24 has been delayed. Woo. Oh, nice and loud there. UFC 5. It's only been four UFC games. I thought UFC was done by year as well. When's that coming out, Fel? I mean, NBA's coming out soon too. Yeah. <laughs> the seventh, it comes out on the 7th as well. Oh, but the price of it, dude. It's so expensive. And now you got to buy season passes. Oh, go away. Can't afford that crap. Right, here we are. Maxi boy. Number nine. We're up against Nick Phibbs. Oh, the Aussie. Phibbsy. Vitekani. Alvarez and Vitekani at 10. Okay. Ben Loder. Right. They're pretty average here. Irish, aren't they? Rogerson. My wild guess is it will drop on September. What do you mean drop? Like drop as in come out. Really? Or drop the news that it's being delayed. Why really wait till release day? That's that's absurd. That is absurd. Another thing is that I'm going to look up after this game. Is anyone doing pre-orders on Rugby 24? If no one's doing pre-orders, then that's you'll be fine. But if the people, the places are doing pre-orders. That's going to leave a very sticky situation, isn't it? Kicking meters done. Check. Good chase, too. Good chase. Good tackle. Up, 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 Max. Up, up. Oh, you're too slow. Got him. Good defense. Good defense, lads. Advantage. <laughs> What's up, kid? They won. They won well. Springboks look bloody good. Here's a try. It's got to be a try for us now. Get it out the advantage over. Are they going to win the whole World Cup? Kim? Get in the corner here. Big number eight. Not quite. Oh, the offload. Sensational stuff for us. Oh, we've lost it. We need easier to score a try. Chase that down. Oh, what is going on there? That was a good pass. We should pick it up. 
That was a weird game though, that Spring Boss game. Like, I hated it because it every time someone took a tackle, I was just like, oh, here we go. Someone landed awkwardly. And then you saw like David Munin was limping. And then Lomax got his big gash in his leg, which I don't think we've heard the last of that either, by the way. Oh, he was a bit of a pace race. He could be gone here for the opening try. We are. Good start. Max is in. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. It's no try. It's no try. I wasn't paying attention. Dub! <laughs> Dub, dude! Oh, what an idiot. Crouch. Clown. Find. It will come out on the 7th. We'll hear something next week. Set. Jeez, dude. Next week as in like, oh, it's your Sunday. Don't worry, I'm going to score off this anyway. Don't worry. Put it over! Oh, no! Don't worry. Not anyway. I was playing in the for a bit. Now I just thought I went in the end zone. I scored. Easy. Easy. It's all good. We're up. We've just got to avoid the um the wolf curse. Which I'm making a nice little emote for the wolf curse. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be such a thing now. Right, come on, Max. I forgot we were kicking. Yes, nice. Now we missed two kicks. And now debut for kicking. This time we've got it on. We've got it on. We're in. Ah, uh, good. Springboks look good. This game sounds too loud. Okay, we'll kill it. How's that? Better? I could turn mine up too, you know. Here we go. We'll do a little bit of that. Here we go, we got try number two coming up here. Look at the support line. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, we got a pass away. Wrong guy. Yeah, we're in. Game sounds very loud today. Who's fiddled with that? Not me. I don't no, 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 no. I don't I don't I don't fiddle with that stuff. That was a nice little ball. Look at Danny go. Go, Danny, go. Two tries to nothing. Nice. But we are we are in the danger zone though. Remember 14-0. That's the wolf curse. Got it over. Yeah, if the volumes are out or they're too quiet, too loud, just let me know, team. Easy to change. Easy stuff. 14-0. Get out of here, Irish. This is our home ground. Now I fell and I read an announcement. It wasn't... Oh, no, that's terrible. Was it an announcement, but it was like a, a teaser for a World Cup winner returning to New Zealand rugby. As a Aaron Cruden must be the guy. Because I just thought, I was like, yeah, who cares? If he's a World Cup winner, he's too old Crouch. to be any good anyway. Find. So Aaron Cruden's going to come Sick. back to the Chiefs. Surely he's not going to play much, right? Like... Especially if they want to play McKenzie at 10. Oh, good little play there. Oh, no. Don't do it like this, though. No. <laughs> the curse. The curse is real. It's absolutely real. Oh, I don't believe it. This is unbelievable. He's back for the NPC team. I don't know, man. These old guys. Old, um, what's the Crusaders halfback that's come back as well? 
Um, he was garbage when he was in his prime. He's even worse now. Oh, I can't remember. Bald guy. Can't remember his name. I'm kicking off here. This is this is good. Uh, that, that concerns me. What's up, Hector? We're proing right. again, dude. We're being an absolute master. We're laughing in England. We're talking about the rugby for the weekend. We're just chilling, man. We're trying to make sure we're not out in the game. Oh, we're still in the premiership. We're in the premiership of Gloucester. We're, we're trudging through the season. This this is premiership game. Uh, we're in Europe as well. So we're in and out of both. Crouch. But it's a long old season, the Fine. premiership season. I tell you what. We're going to be Shit. here for a while. Unless you get injured, of course. Then it'll go a bit quicker. Stevenson to the NRL. <laughs> Is that a drop goal? Cipriani! Drop goal! Yeah! Cruden at 10, D-Mac at 15, Stevenson in I, yeah, I, I like that, but don't the All Blacks want D-Mac at 10? Where does, where does Robinson play McKenzie? That's, like, we all know that Foster and his dumb ideas of where McKenzie plays. Imagine if uh, Robinson comes in and goes, D-Mac, you're not a 10, mate. Advantage. Play fullback or get out of my team. You reckon Stevenson will go to NRL? What's he going to play for Advantage the Warriors? That, that's a bit of an upturn for the books. Ooh. Normally play, the players leave the Warriors to come to rugby. Not the other way around. Here's a chance. Is he going to kick this head? Where's he going to go? Oh, high tackle. We'll take three. Yellow card. Yes, come on, lads. Let's rack up the points. Let's go. Oh, that's on Nick Phibbs. He's their captain. <laughs> right, let's kick for goal. Finish things off with um, a flurry of points. Let's see if we can cook here. Super Rugby's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think we need to... I always love the year after a World Cup when it comes to Super Rugby and domestic rugby. Nice. Nice. Because you get all these new players and you've got all this new space. Space is like selections to make. So you've got bigger new players, a lot of new players in the teams. So I like that because then you've got to develop all this new talent and you get these new players. Well, that's the other thing, Fallon. You're right. Will he go, no, nah, Will Jordan's my 15. I've played 15 for him, with him forever. He's my guy. Bowden Barrett? Well, he's, he's out of here, isn't he? So, yeah. That's what I love. I love, I love the post-World Cup. I really, really do love a post-World Cup. So, how many? We got a new, uh, a new 10. Got to get a new 9. Roy Guards... Real coming of age. That's oh, exciting. There's a lot more riding on it. And a lot more opportunity for these guys. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree if you fell, I think he's going to be the new nine. I like him. He looks... I mean, he, he played really well in South, South Africa. I mean, if it for him, it'll be, a, it'll be a duck, wouldn't it? So, he's a bright spark for sure. I think Christy Miles will go overseas now because he ain't going to get there. Oh, this could be a try. Up it goes. Short man. Short man. Try. Yes. And he's left footed Fallon, which I didn't really take much notice of, but that's a nice difference maker. His try was really good. I, his try was great. But I like his pass. He has a good pass. Not like these passes. Not like Max Wilson. <laughs> I think he's the future. I think Christie's certainly pushed down to three. On the bench, you're going to have Roy Gard for sure. I think he's got the ability to change a game. Or to actually improve a game. Whereas Christie doesn't. Christie doesn't improve a game. 27-7 ahead team with smoking the Irish from London. Oh, nice pass. What are we going to do, actually? What are our objectives? I should write them down, but I don't. Short, 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 short. 
Well, no, 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 don't jump in. I'm supposed to be the, the nine. I'm not playing like a nine. I'm playing like a, a fullback slash winger. Could do a, a midfield uh, pro would be interesting. Okay, we're running it back. We're running it back. Nice. I'll chase this as well then. My running meters are off the chart here. Ah, oh, got him. Advantage. Yes, he's offside. Go, boys. I'll have three if you don't want to do this. Release. Mark is a great winger. Which Mark? Talia? No, no one needs was he? Yeah. <laughs> I've ever done reaction videos. There's a YouTube video titled Low IQ Rugby Plays that as a rugby novice I understand about half of it. I've not really done reaction videos, no. Oh crap. Should we watch this video? <laughs> yeah. I'm curious as to what low IQ rugby plays is. We'll take another three, though. Yeah, Mark Tilly is pretty good. See who stays injury-free, though. That's a big thing. We'll deal with next year in, uh, uh, in November. Yeah. We're smoking the Irish here. Doing it easy. Easy. I want to get Banner to try, actually. Banner has not scored a try since, what, right at the start? Oh, no, he smoked me. Where is Banner, speaking of? He ain't there. Gonna get myself back on side. Oh, good tackle, good tackle. Dropped him. Thunderous hit. Ooh, nice ball. Oh, what a play. He's in the corner. Fend it off at the end. Well played, Irish. Well played. Tom Fowley. Curious on this low IQ rugby plate. Got it nicely, though. Look at this. On the outside. Banners was stationary. Nice finish. Nice finish. <laughs> the conversion is away. Not surprising there. Who's kicking? Oh, it is old. Um, I forgot his name. Thirty points to twelve. Let's move on to the next match. We've smoked these guys. We've destroyed them. Does anyone playing this actually ever use the little map at the... Ooh, oh, we're in touch. At the, we're not in touch? Okay, that's weird. Oh, I thought that was for me. I was Release. running onto that at extreme speed. Right, let's go, boys. Let's use the forwards. Nice. Not what I wanted. Good little breakaway. Here we go. Numbers there. I'm on the inside. Inside. Oh, wrong way. No, what, are our, what are our objectives, actually? Hang on. We need to find our objectives. Have we done them all? Oh, drop goal rate. Oh, that's right. We could smoke and we drop goal. Nothing on there. Oh, intercepted! And turned over. Let's get some points for making tackles. They ain't coming back. They ain't coming back from this. Not a chance. Turn that over, lads. Get the ball, boys. Up the difficulty in minutes for one game. See how the CPU plays. Oh, we started this on pro. And, uh, in the NPC and got smoked by counties. Not straight. Aw. Oh. We'll have a look. We'll have a look after this game, Dub. Ten minute video? Yeah, watch that. 
Crouch. Find. Set. Oh, we've won that. We want a drop goal, is what we really want. What's that? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, and go! Turn over! Get! Yeah, try! Oh, what a try! What a try! Solo brilliance! From Max! And this one's in the bank! What a nice try! Look at this. Look, good chase. Good tackle. No one helped him out. Over the ball. Got to release it. Squirt. Try. Wonder why I won't let you link the video. Must be a stupid... Probably a stupid YouTube setting. You can't link videos in chat. Conversion. Very good. 37-12. Whoa. Surely that's a bonus point too. We're coming up. We're coming up. Good win. You garbage Irish. Look at that. Look at that. A drop goal, penalty goals, conversions, tries. We've got everything going our way. Wow, what a performance. Four tries. Bonus in the bank. Sub Amelia. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope you had a good weekend. Big, big win to start us off. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Three tries, four conversions, two line breaks, eight tackles, two penalty goals, two contests won. Four. Now, if that's not a, like a nine, I don't know what is. Get promoted to team captain. Dub, if you try, <laughs> you tried to post it in there as well. Why can't I get that? Should, why can't I allow links? It won't let me allow. There's no no even option. Crazy. It just comes up with three stars. <laughs> I wonder if this would work. No, that didn't work either. Crazy. Crazy. We'll find it. We'll find it, um... We'll find it now. Doing okay. Arrived at TAF for the day. Most people ignoring me in my class. <laughs> Might as well be invisible. Oh, come on. What do you need people in your class to not ignore you for? It's alright. Just do, do your jam. Do your thing. People are very antisocial these days, aren't they? Like, people are very, um... What's the word? They don't go out of their way for anything. I think people don't like talking to people as much as they don't like people talking to them. We've got a very sheltered and, uh... Hiding community. Well, not community, like, yeah... People just don't really get out, go out of their way to talk to people, which is kind of sad. Kind of sad. What do we got here? Like four out of five. People will come around immediately. You'll be right. They'll come around. People are very sh uh, shy, like these days. Just don't know what it is. Not very outgoing people. Four out of five, though. Look at this. Bang, 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 bang. Look at those increases. Speed going up. Breaking tackle. Everything's going up. Well, they just ignore you. Then you don't need them in your life, do you? Oh, ho, ho. Look at that performance. Oh, wow. A 9.9. .9. We're the best player in the world. We're the best player in the world. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Just ignore those people. You don't need them in your life anyway, Amelia. 
Just get rid of them. They don't want to talk to you. We're captain. Then you don't need to talk to them. Stuff them. <laughs> These fucklets for over a month, they're all acting like children. They do. People can be 20 years old, but they act like they're two years old. You're so right. Yeah, outside again, looks like, like in high school. Nah, but at least you can concentrate on your work. And actually be successful. But I get what you mean. I think everyone's uh, had cases or periods of their life where they're like that. So it is a difficult one. But the more you the more you worry and try to force people to accept and change the way of things they think, it's like just it's a waste of your time. It really is a waste of your time sometimes. Um gotta look up this video for uh dub. Oh, here we go. Uh right, what was it called, dub? Low IQ rugby plays. It's about ten minutes long. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're shy. They're insecure. That's a good work. Um, a good work. A good word. Dub. Zero IQ rugby plays. There's one here that. Oh yeah, zero IQ rugby moments in rugby. By Andrew Ford. Or is it this one? Zero IQ. In rugby, 10 minutes. <laughs> There's a couple. 10 minutes and 3 seconds? How long is it? Oh, hang on. Look, 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 look. Here you go. Go on. Get rid of that. Go back over there. Go on. Get shoe over there. Which one are we looking at? We got this one. We got this one. We just got a sniffer. This one? Uh, this one. They can all get stuffed to me. Yeah, that's all right. You're more than welcome here, my friend. Anytime. We won't ignore you. Come and let all your frustrations out. Have a chat. And um, you're more than welcome. Spam the chat all you like with, with your worries. This is one we're watching. Right. Now, what are we trying to... What are we, what are we looking at here, Dub? We're trying to understand what it is? Because what, what did you say here? You, un, you only understand half of it. All right. Let's try and understand the rest of it. It's got Owen Farrell on it, so that's always a good start. Right. He's shown a yellow card. Props to uh, Andrew Ford for this. Good positioning there. Well, he's offside. To take the ball quickly. He's got a retreat. So we, we get this one, Dub? Well, play there. That, that one's pretty obvious. Why is it? it's, so, it's very glitchy. We need, we need nice quality. It's only 720. That's a bit of a shame. Well, that one was obvious. He took a mark. He didn't get back 10 meters and he tackled him. That's like, that is dumb. That is really, really dumb. So when you take a mark like that, you saw there, I'm pretty sure that was Liam Williams at the back. Take his mark. Jeez, it doesn't like running today. Takes his mark and then tackles him. He's, he's told him to, to where to go as well. Good positioning there. There you go. Jeez, it's glitchy today. Let's, let's close some stuff, shall we? Let's close that. That might help. Um, yeah, that's that's simple. That was a nice, easy one to start. Got to get back ten. He's got a retreat. Best we get when you got a. Well, how old was he when he started? Like eighteen or nineteen? What's this one? Okay, this is a kickoff. Well, he's over the halfway line. <laughs> what an idiot! Good two yards into Scarlet Territory, Paul, wasn't he, when he kicked off? So Yako Piper well within his rights just to uh, <laughs> lay down a Well, that was a bit dumb. Let's start from the correct half of the field, please. Dupont gets the ball out. Little chip. What's that? Oh, he's oh, kicked it out. It's going to be penalty. a yellow card, isn't it? Yep. He purposely punches the ball out of play. You can't do that. Touche throws his arms up in the air. So this was Sonny Bill Williams. Yeah, I remember yeah, I remember this. So, Sonny Bill Williams comes from League. So, NRL. Which, in NRL, when a, a, a kick goes into the end goal like that, they, they do just slap it, slap it dead uh, to kill the play. That 
is what Sonny Bill Williams done. In rugby, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to purposely throw the ball out. Accidentally, you, know, you, can, you can pass into touch, which you pass on purpose, but it goes into touch. But you can't, you can't slap it directly into touch um, like that. Yes. That's league background. There's Sonny Bill Williams for you. <sighs> he didn't touch it down. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> If you don't get that, we need to touch the ball down. So the, the kick, the kick missed. You've got to put the ball down for it to be a 22. He's caught it and just thrown it straight out. So it's it's a, it's a massive, technically a forward pass. That is insane. I've never seen that before. That, that is crazy. <laughs> what happened? What happened here? I missed the start of this one. So he's just come off the back of the line out, right? Okay, so he's just come off the line out because, yeah, like it says, there's no offside line out. What's happened here? Is he just... Oh, he stripped him up. No, look. There's no, there's no real confusion about that. He's just tripped him up. Yeah, it's just dumb. And he's lost his team the game. Tackled without the ball. Absolutely pivotal. Yeah, that was a pretty simple one. He puts his hand in the air to say sorry, but... But, I mean, you're losing by two points, two minutes to play, and you go and just smoke the guy. Yeah. I mean, if he got the pass, he would have, he would have smashed it, but... Okay, what's happening this one? Don't tell me he's going to... Oh, he's done it again! Oh, you can't... You've got to touch the ball down. Dump. You've got to place the ball down. That's incredible. I can't believe professional. I mean, I guess in the moment sort of thing. What's going on here then? Oh, he, he didn't put it down. I mean, that's not that dumb. That's just difficult to do. That's, I wouldn't call that a zero IQ. I would call that just unfortunate bounce of the rugby ball and he didn't get hold of it. He's going to smoke this off the post, isn't he? No, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone all the way. Oh, that's bad. See, you can't kick it straight dead or out from a kickoff. So that's what that one's about. Dill, we're watching um, low IQ plays here. It's just must be recent. I'm not seeing this. So that was a 20... Okay, well, 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 okay, well, we'll stop there. We had about three quick ones in a row there. Uh, we had the unfortunate touchback. Um, trying to push it back. What do we get? This Bulls one. Oh, we kicked it out. Okay. So you, you can't... You can't just smoke it from kickoff. It's, it's got to stay in the field of play, Dub, when you kick off. Um, so just smoking a dead and goal. It's not like league where you can just leave it and get a 20 meter restart. Uh, that next one of the cheeks. I don't know what, was that Tom Wright? I don't know what he was quite doing there. He was, it was half time. I, I thought it was full time. And it must have been a, a goal line dropout. And he's tried to smoke it into touch. So from a, from a goal line dropout, he can bounce it into touch. So, and from a kickoff. It, no, it can't bounce. It can't bounce dead from a kickoff, but it can bounce into touch. Um, off a of bounce. But this here, you can just smoke this into touch as long as it bounces. Uh, which he's tried to do here. So he's tried to just smoke this into touch, bounce it. Now has picked it up. And that's just, that's just giving away giving away easy possession. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's unfortunate that's unfortunate his quick line out so anyone can be anywhere when it's a quick line out there's no structure to it this is a high quality video 
What's What's the call here? He's kicked into touch. Oh, they had a penalty, obviously. Oh, no, they're going to score. Well so, if he... If he uh, I think they, got, they had a penalty and they just kicked it out. I'll, I'll go back that one because I'm not 100% sure what actually happened at the start. That was a long one, that one. Okay, that was the that was that. So did they have a penalty? Oh, they did have a penalty. Okay, yeah. So they had a penalty. So if you you have a penalty, you can't uh if you want to end the game and actually go out into touch, you've got to tap it. Just kicking it straight out like that means you've still got to play the line out. So the game doesn't end on a penalty. It has to end on uh in general play. So to tap it and then kick it out, that would have ended the game. And Scotland would have won. Ooh! That's very fast reactions to trip up, trip that up. That is very fast reactions. But dumb. Dumb. Really dumb. That'll get... Oh! <laughs> you know about that one, Dub. He's just gone dead and goal. He, he did what I did before on the game. He should have just... He should have just put it down. Oh, he's, he's, he's still on the line. Oh, Dumb Dumb Barrett. Oh, what a clown. Okay, what's this one? Stepped out, he stepped out, he went dead in goal. So he went over the line. You can't go over the line on that one, Dub. I presume he just, that was dumb because he just went back to, back to where the forwards are. Yeah, so end of the game. Just dumb, yeah. We, we, we're filming with potatoes now. It's hard to even see where the ball is. That is that is one monster. <laughs> so, rule of that one, dub, is to just watch where everyone else is on the field because he was just watching that way for it to go dead. Players come through behind him and, and put it down for a try. Great kick. Outstanding kick. Well, that's Argentina. That's what that is, Dub. And that's probably Lovanini or... No, that's Matera there. Yeah. He just smoked him after the whistle. Nothing special there. <laughs> so they took a tap. When they had a penalty and they should have just kicked it, uh, kicked the shot at goal. Dumb. Okay, so this is similar to the Sonny Bill Williams one, Dub. Um, you can't deliberately throw the ball out. You have to make an attempt to catch it. So, again, he's just slapped that. He's just gone up and slapped it into touch. Illegal. You can't do that. So, you have to attempt. If he, if he attempts to catch it, a bounce on his shoulder and went into touch, that would be fine. But you can't just throw it out like that. Oh. What? That was just a dumb kick. And it's cost his team the game, that one. So that, that's not that bad. That one's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. 
Here we go. Ireland and France. Smoked the downfield. Don't try save it. Oh, he's tried to save it. That's five meter scrum. Don't try save that one, Zebo. You've buggered that up big time. So he's tried to save it from going into touch. And he's touched it. Then it's gone into touch. So he's put it out. In goal. Five meter scrum. Oh, this one is Bernard Foley. Taking too long to kick the ball out. Delaying time. Wallabies led by three. Took too long to kick to touch. Trying to wind down the clock. Got penalised. All Black scored a try. Won the game. You won't forget that one. Dill won't forget that one. That was a, that was a huge game. Wallabies leading by three. Took too long to kick it. This is what happened. Jordy Barrett happened. That one kind of gives you goosebumps. That one kind of does. Oh, oh that's it. Whew. So, Dub, what do you reckon? What do you think about that? Any you're confused about? It's kind of hard to, to try and explain them. As they were going. But do they all make sense? Rugby's got some dumb rules. Well, it's got some unique rules, eh? Like, um, throwing the ball straight out. Uh, is illegal kicking it out from kickoffs uh most of them are pretty straightforward though hell for sure no 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 um none you didn't understand but most of them were just like dumb <laughs> as in like like the the oh, throwing it back to the 22 without putting it down in goal oh that that would make you rip whatever little bit of hair you, you have out. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, you can ask the questions. Still, I'm happy to help, man. I'm happy to help. Questions about, um, you know, you don't fully understand? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a crack. I'll give it a crack. Big shout out there to Andrew Ford. Go subscribe to him. He's, he's, he's got a lot of subs there. Good man. Love his work. There is a lot of dumb ones like this. Uh, who did that? Uh, that that's Contopomi. So that was Argentina. But um, someone did it for uh, Australia. Was it? No, Waratahs. Oh, the big prop. Who was the big prop? Oh, his name is like right there. Nailed a drop goal with penalty advantage. When the team was behind by four. Dills will know the guy. Oh, what was his name? Matt Dunning. Oh, Matt Dunning. What's, what's this one? Um, <laughs> what's this one, Dub? You want, you want low IQ dumb plays? This is old. This is a while ago here. That's Matt Dunning there with the, 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 the headgear on. <laughs> Big ups to go the Tars on this one. I can't remember who this was against. The Chiefs? Oh, it was the Chiefs. Doesn't have the score. Chasing the last one in the semi-finals. The Waratahs need to win and score four tries to make the semis. And Matt Dunning did that. You don't even get to see it properly. There's a situation. Right. They need to win and score four tries so I get the bonus point. Why are you staying? I would know. What? Oh, because it's, it's an old, funny sort of play. You know, they needed the bonus point try. They had three. Time was running out. They'd, oh, they only scored two. And they had advantage. And then Matt Dunning. I mean, this is bloody impressive anyway. Like, this is impressive for a flight half to do. Let alone a prop. From this sort of position too. Look, he's off balance. He's... <laughs> That is a zero IQ play. A bloody amazing drop goal, but zero IQ of knowing the game. So funny. So funny. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, he smoked it. <laughs> oh, Matt Dunning. <laughs> it was a shinner as well. 
He didn't even smoke off the boot to come off the shin. Oh, they went on to not getting the tries anyway, and they didn't they didn't win the game. So um, oh yes, but it was still funny. <laughs> You're not wrong. This guy knows it. Most international first fives wish they could have kicked that good. 45 out, cracking. That that was a moment. That was a moment for sure. Oh, good stuff. You got any other stuff? Let us know. Uh, we can um. <laughs> that one's just iconic and funny. Like, yeah, there's a lot of stupid rules. If you've got any other questions, dude, give, it, give us a slap. I can try to help you out. Understand them if you need. <laughs> oh, I do find that funny. There's some real dumb ones. I mean, those 22s, they're the, they're the worst. Trying to save it, like that Zebo one, trying to save it from going into touch. It's like, oh, okay. I can, I can understand that. But, oh, but, I mean, it turns around so much. Like a massive kick like that, you're on your own line getting a line out. Whereas you, you touch it, it's like you're on your own line, not with the line out. You, you're giving it away. So it's 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 crazy tough. It's crazy tough. But yeah, there's a lot of dumb, a lot of dumb stuff. That, those twenty twos though are the worst. Crazy. Right, we are up against our um our boys, Bath. Let's look at their team here. Jackson Willison. Remember that name? Jeez, he hasn't been around for a while. They've got Snyman. They've got a Springboks bench here. Look at that. Dupree, Lowe, Snyman. JB Roberts. Oh, man, they've got issues with this. <laughs> they've got super issues. Madness. Madness of a team. Oh, it's always good to look at some funny rugby stuff like that. Always good to laugh at some funny rugby stuff. I wonder if our, uh, our alerts are actually working today. I'm not actually sure if they are. No, not that one. Can't find the right window to look at here. Oh, what have I done there? That That's dumb. Push the wrong button. Let's play this game anyway. Let's play Bath. We are the captain now as well, which is huge. Righty, alrighty. Let's go, Bath. Let's go. Take a bath. Right, what do we got to do? Concede a penalty, less than one penalty. Drop goals. Kicking meters, line breaks, handling errors. Right. Let's roll. Let's roll with this. I'm surprised it actually lasted this long, actually. I thought the um, wife would be uh, wanting to come home by now, but uh, she still works, so all good. We get extra bit of a, a long, a longer stream today, which is nice. Nicey nice. Off to Twickenham Stoop. A lot of what I know of rugby is via the games, unfortunately. I just need to watch more matches in general. If you're pushing buttons, nothing new. Always push the wrong buttons. Or sometimes push the right buttons. Sometimes. Yeah, the games... Are... The games aren't great at reflecting the laws. Especially those, like, intricate laws... And it's, it's hard to do super dumb stuff anyway because it doesn't let you do it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of dumb little laws in there that are hard to hard to get your head around. But the basics are always in rugby games. Like your knock-ons, your offsides. Ruck, well, yes, at least Rugby Challenge 4's got ruck penalties. So you kind of learn on that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's difficult. It is difficult. Watching more games. Watch the World Cup, dude. Come join us. Uh, join the World Cup at the streams, man. That's what you want to do. And then we got questions to shout out. And we can we can certainly try and explain, I guess, what, what kind of happens. Oh, I've got about Charlie Marley. Remember Charlie Marley? He's still here. So when the World Cup's on and we got we got live live little watch parties going on, that would be the time to explain stuff really good for you. Let's go. Let's get another five points here, lads. 
Bonus point and win incoming. Smoked out kicking meters off the whistle. Release. Not getting a ruck turn over there. They're gonna kick this, watch. You you go that way. You go you go central. Marley? Charlie? Charlie Marley? Alright, I'll go, I'll go. Shouldn't all commit to him at once. I think we'll see some really weird stuff too at the World Cup dub. I think we're gonna see some crazy, crazy, crazy dumb stuff. Dills has dropped changing the stream. Crazy man. Oh no, no, knock that on. Oh, you idiots. Oh, you idiot. It's a good chase. Oh, look at that clown. Crouch. Find. Set. Yeah, it's funny how the old YouTube streams. Oh, get a lot different to the Twitch ones. Look at us go. Go. Now we go. Right, let's go for a little run. Nice. Got the line break. Got the line break. Delayed the game enough to get more support. We still are buried. And we're passing around like a hot potato. We've knocked it on. We didn't want that ball. Stop passing us such garbage passes. Crouch. Fine. Not impressed. Sit. Good scrum. Good scrum. Got the turnover. Let's go, lads. Spit it out wide. We need to stop knocking this on. <laughs> We're playing terrible rugby. Right, what's our options here? Why we got... What happened? Crouch. I thought we knocked Find. it on. I wasn't paying attention Sit. there. I'll take it. I'll scrum. I wonder if we can play another, like, nine. Oh, left side, there's room. Oh, crap. Didn't do that very well. Get out to Matty Banners. We've got to get a Matty Banners try. Jesus, that's spinning around like nothing else. Oh, don't go back to me. Get out to Banners. Okay, right, Banners. Where are you, Banners? Go, Banners, go! Matty Banners! Yes! He's away! Woohoo! Finally, we got the big man to score. We are playing really well. Maybe we do try a game up a higher difficulty. Like Fallon was saying before. Maybe we do. Playing the numbers game. Little overlap. Perfect. Banners is gone. See you later, Banners. Great try. Shouldn't have retired. Maybe he should have retired. Wilson. Nice, nice, nice. We got seven. We're off to a good start. Right, get the pressure up. Good take. Right, use the forwards. Ooh. Oh, beautiful pass. He's away. Max has got to try. Yes. How good was that? So good. So good. I oh, see. We could chuck in some little Max Wilson emotes. Oh. Get his fiery ginger head in the game. Well, on, on the chat, that would be good. I like that. So, another one for tonight. Good try. Get the big ginger beard going. Nice. 14 nil. Wolf curse time. Ooh, that's a big kick. Someone else take it. Fire it back. Fire it. All right. I'll just kick it from the base then. Here we go. Easy kicking meters here. See, this is racking up the match rating. 
Good chase. Double chase. Turnover. Not quite. Ooh. Sneaky little play down the, the short side. Release. I'll come back. Here I am. Oh, he's kicked that. I should have tackled him. He would have dropped it. In you go. Advantage. Oh, no. The incompetence of these players sometimes. Oh, I was going to blame Charlie Marley, but it was Tom Marshall. It's a good tackle, that. Crouch. Right in the ribs. Find. Set. Oh, no. Ooh, we turned it over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Max. Drill this. Big punt. Now go, Banners. Go, Banners, go. Two-man chase. You take him, Banners. Oh, I knew he was going to pass that. Knocked on. Yes. <laughs> we just rip up another 60-odd meters. Make sure things are working properly. Oh, no, Fallon. Crouch. What about the guy that... Um, the fullback that did that... Uh, the trip in the air. I know it's not in the rules to be illegal, but man, he messed that guy up. <sighs> what happened to Tohu? Injury? Oh, I hate when the camera does that. What was that kick? It's not going to stay in. It's all right. They're pretty much guaranteed third now, anyway, and they fell, and they're pretty much sorted for the for the um. Playoffs. Ooh, not quite. I'll let him kick it out. Back injury. What I want to know is what um I'll be able to watch the Monday World Cup matches live, but not the weekend ones so much, not so much. Oh, that's alright. This game's most days, and it depends too on on your time zone, Dub, is like what time. Because they're mostly middle of the night. Oh, there's some late night ones too. There's some all over the place. What's up, Cabbage? Hope you're doing well, dude. I don't know which, one, which ones I'm going to be doing. Um... Jesus. Yeah, it depends what ones we're going to be doing too, Dub. So we'll try... Mondays, they'll be the Sunday night games. Yeah. No, we'll do some, Dub. We'll get you in there. Greetings, Burnt Cabbage. Apologies for late arrival. It's all right, dude. You're more than welcome whenever you can arrive. I don't know how long I was going to be around today, but it seems we've got a, a, a bit of time out of it, which is nice. Uh, the boss hasn't called. Awaiting some... Um, treatment? Treatment? What did I walk into? Twitch seemed nicer in terms of chatters. Because it was only you chatting, dude. I, people don't watch me on Twitch. I don't know why. Twitch doesn't get that much in the way of viewers. YouTube's much better. I don't know why. Is it because I'm on both so people just come to YouTube? I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. It's on both. Watch what you like. Same videos, both chats. More people to chat to on YouTube, though, probably, but... Don't have to deal with dills, though. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, bath. Here comes the curse. Here comes the wolf curse. He's not here today. That's not good. 14-5. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And see, on Twitch, you see, you don't get a nice little World Cup deals either. Which will change to something else. Um, soon, hopefully. Maybe. Depends. The longest serving member is always going to hold the William Webell's trophy. So. Or members. So Dub, you're in, you're in the lead, man. You'll be, you're going to hold the World Cup forever. Have I checked anything from the AEW Wembley show? No, Dub, I've not. 
What's happened? I can add that on Twitch. I might do. Uh, no, I don't think you can add emotes on Twitch unless you're like um, an affiliate now, can you? So I could add it later on if I do all that crap. Uh, but, yeah, yeah just, <laughs> see, just, just a small task of, of getting affiliate. I'm not fast. People are happy watching on here. I'm happy streaming on, well, both really, to be fair. Says Mr. Go be affiliate yourself, sir. Oh, what happened to AEW? It was pretty dope, entertaining as hell. Uh, did they did they pack it out like they were predicting they were going to do? Monday. Oh, I guess it is pay per view day, isn't it? No, no, this. Do they do their pay per views? Um, do they do their pay per views on Sunday? AEW. That's interesting. I'll probably check it out after dub. What happened? Who wins? Give us the results. 81k paid. Nice. That's a big crowd, man. Is that the record though? Wasn't the record 82 or 83? Or was it 80? And they'd already passed it before the match. Uh, before the match? Uh, before the show. I know they are claiming that they had the highest paid crowd uh, at Wembley. Which will piss off WWE. Oh, we've, we've sold the ball. They normally do them set? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everyone used to do their pay-per-views on Sunday. and Oh, no, they're going to score. And it means that um, you can't watch them on Mondays here. So I'm kind of... I was happy that they changed them to Saturday because then you're able to watch them. But yeah, now it doesn't matter so much, does it? It doesn't matter. Now I see why you push me. What? I just want some entertainment deals. That's all. You know? Play some Fall Guys with someone. And get get weighed down by atrocious team members. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I should probably add more... Um, I don't add any tags on Twitch. I should probably do that. Enter tags. Rugby. Oh, I'm kicking off. That's probably why no one really finds it on Twitch, because I don't add any of that crap. Release. Oh. Check. Cornflake plays lots of games. Release. Cool Flavor playing Final Fantasy 14 for a while there. That's all my mate that wanted to play it. Stop playing it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This is really close, actually. I'm getting a bit. I need to concentrate on the game here. Because we're getting. Oh, now we're starting to fall to pieces. Four guys is cool. Where else do I play? Not much that's really, like, stream friendly fun to watch. I'm not really. I'm terrible. I have won crowns, though. I think I've won three or four. Crouch. Find. Uh, what else? Set. Used to play a lot of Guild Wars. Not so much now. Holy hell, we've been destroyed. What else do I play much of? Sports games. 2K. Yes, good turnover and another knock-on. Uh, what else do we play? Play a bit of football manager. Probably too much of that. But again, oh no. But again, not a very stream friendly game. No, not like this, Bath. Not good. Not good at all. Don't want to watch replay. <laughs> Dills, any news on Roby24? Good one. Uh, what's some tags I could add for, for Twitch? Rugby? I don't even know. Oh, scumbag, he's kicked that over too. Uh, Solomon, no, there's not. There's not a beer pro 
mode in Rugby Challenge 2. Uh, they added it in 3. I'm pretty sure they added it in 3. Yeah, they did. Definitely. No serious questions allowed, Dills, at all. Oh, come on, ref that. <sighs> it bounced, ref. Crouch. Find. Oh, the rugby 24 Six. question was a serious question? No, there's no news. Oh my god, these scrums destroyed us again. No news at all. Um, the news is... It's got four minutes to play. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Crap, we're back to losing. Um, the news is that there's nothing to show at Gamescom. And that's like actual. Someone went to the booth and went, what about Rugby 24? And they went, eh, nothing to show. But then did they go, we're delaying the game? No, they just went, eh, nothing to show. Oh, piss off, man. I don't like you anymore. Goddamn bath. Oh, he's hit the post. Does that leave it? Oh, man, we're behind by nine? <sighs> okay, we need to score a try to get a um a bonus. I can't believe they've smoked us so well at the end. This is crazy. Good take, good take. They, ha they have absolutely destroyed us. Wolf's curse back. Mighty, your timing is impeccable, sir. I'm making an emote for the... um. For Wolf's Curse, because literally that's the game we're playing. Up 14-0, lose the game. Not even lose, like we got smoked in the end. They they destroyed us. Like we lost by nine. Four try, they got a bonus point as well. Go away. Go on, shoot. Go. Well, how do we actually what what? I forgot our objectives. Yeah, Solomon, grab rugby challenge three or four. Uh if you can find it, actually. Because they can't sell it anymore. We made two handing errors far out. Great win. <laughs> Great win for Bath, fella, yeah? Uh, what's the point of announcing they are the official Rugby World Cup game and not following through? I don't know, man. Look at our kicking meters, though. 232. Crazy. Uh, we did lose on passing and catching, as expected, but everything else got up a little bit. We're 83 rated, though. Woohoo! A still point eight. We're killing it, man. We are killing it. Kicking makes so much of a difference. I don't know what player drafting's for. Season must be ended somewhere. So I win and a loss in our last couple of games. Come on, you bath and mighty. Come on, man. Whose side are you on, dude? We're sitting... We are very much... We are very much a mid-table team. Bath are better than us, though. They're in fifth. They have a 4 win 3 loss. We have 3-4. So I guess we should have lost that game. Leicester Tigers are next. Oh, bugger it. They're third. Well, that doesn't bode well. Right, what are you going to do? Line breaks, screw drop goals, running meters, handing error, kicking meters. Okay, we can do this. And we kept him. So we don't we don't need to up the difficulty, um, <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> because we played so crap that we lose anyway. What? Bath won. Bath don't lose. Bath are the champions of the of the whole tournament. Right, Leicester, come on. Need to get back on winning ways. <laughs> right, who have they got? Bateman, Kerr, Cortez, Kurtz, Spencer, Ulstazen, Kalama Fonny. <laughs> That's our team, man. We are Gloucester. Liebenberg, low. That's a very important back row there. Youngs, McPhillips, May, Villion, Eastman, Oliver Fallot, Yako Telta. Ah, oh, I loved Yako Telta. Such a such a wasted talent. He could have been so much more. Yako? Oh well. Right, right, right. Up we go. Oh, we won that ball. <laughs> No, 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 no. We've lost it already. 
Advantage. Good take. Good play. Good play. Wait, you do what I do. I, I quite often have streams going on other monitors. Oh, just listen. Crouch. Whatever's happening. Find. Set. Working so much on other stuff, eh? That's what it means. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Oh, yeah, no, I don't really watch the chat. Depends who I'm watching as if I watch the chat. Oh! Well, we, 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 we bulldozed the guy. Get it out! We smoked him. Yes, here we go. Try time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We've dropped the ball again. We have dropped the ball again. Do you know if the Rugby World Cup 2011 has an error is that it works well, but when it is time to enter the game, it stays on the loading screen. Crouch. Find. Dude. Set. That could be a number of things. Damn it. Where do you start with that? I mean, combat compatibility, maybe? Oh, what? Leicester are too good. They're too good. Ah, slow them down. Oh, crap. We're not, no football. Oh, there he is. Carly, Charlie Marley is there. Good cover, good cover, good cover. Uh, Solomon, oh, not 100%, dude. I'll check compatibility. Uh, being an old game like that, that would be my, my first guess. Compatibility or... Something's obviously blocking it. Ooh, Cipriani's put in a kick. Or DRM shit as well. Advantage. Can cause those games not to run. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so it could be one of those two. See if anyone else had the problem. Just do a, a, a quick search. It's quite... That sort of stuff's quite common on those old games. Find. That's what I get with uh, Rugby 08 too. Just hangs. Oh, go away, Lester. Oh, good chase. What was it? It's only 12 years ago. Can't say 10 to 15. <laughs> oh, speak of it like it's... Oh. Come on. We need the ball. Up, up, up and at him. Police. That was a while ago. Advantage. How do I... I've dropped that. I've just dropped that cold. Look at this! Advantage Big man's advantage. making a break! Pass, pass, pass! Oh! That was the gold! Oh, we're away. Good bust, good bust. In you go. In you go. Quick! Short ball. Through that gap. Bit too short. Short ball on the short side. Advantage. Oh. Release. Utterly useless. What's this? Nil nil. Are they going to kick? They are. They are. Oh, into touch. Advantage Ooh. over. Yuck. At least let us play. Oh. Now she wants to come home? Goodness me. Do, 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 do. Is she going to walk her way home? That's the thing. Oh. Have to keep them happy. Right. This will be our last. This will be our last one. Oh. Not straight. Crouch. Find. Oh, we might have to end this one even even sooner. Let's so go play taxi time. Release. We'll, we'll wrap it up at half time and we will resume this one. Probably on Friday. Stuck in class Release. learning about soils. Jeez. That doesn't sound too fun.
Oh, we've got the turn over there. Good play. Good work. Spin it out wide. Here we go. This chance. Get it done. Oh, no. We'll be wiped out. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. Oh, now I'm getting a phone call. For goodness sake. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, people. Hold. Hold said phone. I wish I was getting a top secret. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. <laughs> I am in trouble. I am in trouble, Dills. I've been, I've been told. I've been summoned. Summoned by the powers that be. Yes. Hello, hello, Big Ant. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, you suck and you're not making a game. Okay. Good to know. Tosses. Yeah, get out of here. Right, I've been summoned to leave, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to ditch in a hurry. But we still got a good couple of hours out of it, which is alright. Um, not too bad. But we'll finish this game off. I'll finish this game off. And um Retro Rugby Wednesday though. We'll be back fully possibly. Um provided provided she's not ill still. We'll see how we go. I'll let you guys know how we get on, but at least we got a couple of hours and it will be uh Sam Laws tomorrow morning. So be there for that. Dill saves on by, dude. Dub, as always, you're a champion. Finn, good to see you. We're in the mud of England. You're not wrong. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about that as the week goes on. we got a week off, so we've got two weeks to digest uh, what happened. No, you wanted Mr. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got you got to keep the missus happy. you got to keep the wife happy. And when she's sick, ah, uh, yeah. So we we got a little bit of time. But um, thanks for coming by and hanging out for a couple of hours, team. Um, cheers, my tea. Dub, um... Fallon, all you chap, Melia, thanks for coming by. Good luck in class. Don't let people put you down, my friend. Uh, just do your thing. Do your thing and um, and kill it out there, buddy. You got this. You got this sorted. Uh, so, big thanks, everyone. Back Wednesday. There's kids screaming outside. It's all going on. It's fireworks. Uh, you guys rule. I'll see you after. Uh, thanks for coming by. And uh, I'll see you Wednesday. Wednesday. Do, 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 do. Ciao, ciao.